Hi and welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm looking at the Prusa Mini and illumination. Uh, one issue I've had, whether it's inside an enclosure, and this is a Tukari TLX enclosure, or if it's just standalone, if it's in dim light, then I can't really see what's on the build plate. Um, certainly more, more so in the enclosure than outside. Uh, and I've been looking at solutions and I found one on the Prusa Printers model website so I don't tend to take any credit for the design of the lighting that I'm going to show here. This is all down to the designer of this particular print uh, but hopefully I can show you how I've put it together and see if you like it. Uh, now let's just show you quickly what it would be like without if I turn the studio lights off. It's pretty dim as you can see but the effect that you can have is that. So if you want to have a look and see how that's done, please follow the steps as we go along now. The first thing to do is to print off all of the parts from the STL file. And if you look in the description on this video, you'll see a link to the particular article. There are only a few parts. The main part where the LEDs will be fitted are in two and there's a, a power socket, uh, an extender bracket if you've got a Bontech extruder and then two partial covers that will go over the LEDs. So please follow the instructions that are in the article that's uh, linked below. Uh, the first thing I did was to add the LEDs themselves. Now. I only had uh, 12 volt LEDs so I'm not going to wire it into the actual circuit board because that's 24 volt. I am going to use a separate power brick for that which is 12 volt 3 amp which is more than enough. So I've got a single strip of LEDs. I know in the article it's like a double strip. So I'm using a single strip, uh, two of them though side by side so I'm wiring them together and I've just simply followed the wiring instructions. So please follow the wiring instructions as given and you can see now that I've got the LED lighting in place. I've actually used super glue uh, in addition to the self-adhesive uh, to get both sets in uh, because the self-adhesive quite often will peel off. You can see the little on off switch as well and there we have the diffuser that I've designed that's one thing I have added is the diffuser panel so if you want uh, glaring lights don't pop the diffuser panel in if you do want diffused light just pop it in and it just clamps in the next thing to do is remove the covers that cover the wire. As you can see it's an exposed wire now, just two parts of plastic that just pop out. Here's the 12 volt uh, power socket which I've added as per the instructions. Uh, ignore the connection types because I've uh, ended up changing those to the female rather than male in the final product. After bolting in the power socket uh, I've just passed the positive and negative cables through into the main circuit board area. So the next thing we have to do is mount the light onto the top of the Mini. Now I've already taken one of the two screws out of the top of the Mini uh, and I'm going to replace them with these long bolts. Now one thing I've got a Bontec extruder which is a little bit higher than the standard Prusa extruder so apart from just mounting the lights directly on top I have to put a spacer in as well so if you're not using the Bontec extruder you can mount uh, directly on top I think you might need some 30 mil uh, by 5 mil bolts if you're if you've got the Bontec and want to put the spacer in as well which really puts the, the lights at the, the level of the top of the um, stepper motor. Then I've got 50mm bolts, these 50 by 5 
So that, that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to take the second bolt out of the top and then put the light on and put these 50mm bolts in. The next part is to thread the cable down through the extrusion uh, into the electronics box and then join up the connectors. You can probably get better connectors than the ones I'm using here um, but I'm going to put a bit of uh, shrink wrap over them as well uh, just, just to make sure that they're all okay. Uh, just as an, an extra security measure on my part, you don't necessarily have to do that. But I'm literally just going to thread this down through and then put the plastic parts back as they were before. Right, I've now got these uh, two wires from the top of the light and I'm going to attach them to the two wires from the 12 volt feed. Uh, there's the heat shrink that once I've popped them over I'm just going to slide that over the connectors and use uh, the heat from a soldering iron to shrink the wrap. So as you can see these two wires have now got uh, some heat shrink so they're not going to come apart. If I do need to separate them for any reason I can just split the shrink, heat shrink and pull the pins apart but at least it's nice and safe. So now I'm just going to pop back the, uh, the lid and the fixing screw and I think then we are probably uh, all good to uh, connect up to some power and see how this works. So apologies for the darkness but I thought that would be appropriate with uh, the light here. I'm just using a uh, 12 volt 3 amp power brick. Uh, with the 12 volt end. Remember my LEDs are 12 volt. I believe in the article uh, they were using uh, 24 volt LED strips. I'm in using 12 hence using uh, a power adapter and not wiring it direct into the board. So let's just double check to make sure it's off with the switch is off. So I'm going to pop that in there and then turn the power on and there we go uh, it, obviously if you want uh, a lot higher um, light strength then just take the um, diffusers off uh, I didn't want it too strong because if I'm sat at eye level on my desk uh, then that, that can glare into you potentially uh, so the diffused light is quite good. Let's turn that off and on again. So you can see it's got a pretty good effect. Uh, I'm actually liking this. Obviously there are there are other light bars that um, come right the way across, but uh, I like that a lot. So there's the mini there with its light, and I think that's really sufficient. Uh, if you've got a webcam. That's going to give you enough light. You just want to see what's going on. It's not extreme, uh, but it's up to you guys how much light you want to put in on the LEDs. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let, one last thing, let's just put it in the enclosure that it was designed for and see what it looks like in there. So I hope you like the video. Uh, thanks again to the person that designed this. Uh, the design is on the Prusa models site. The only things I've changed really is adding a clip-in diffuser and extended the rear power socket to fit my particular power module uh, because the, the, the actual power socket was sli slightly bigger than the original plastic design. So yeah, well done to the designer on that. Why invent the wheel when 
you can just fit that but it just shows you it works really well for the Takari TLX enclosure I did think about having LED lighting on the top of the enclosure or on the sides but I thought that would ruin the effect of the, the plexiglass so having them on the printer itself has worked really really well uh, I will look at uh, adding a Pi with some lighting control so it can turn on and off the lighting when a print finishes uh, so that that will be for a future video uh, and if you'd like to see more videos please like and subscribe to the channel it's really great if you can subscribe to the channel uh, and I hope to be able to provide you with uh, some extra features very soon thank you very much